Catley G was Toyota's most finest luxury sedan car was designed in 2013. For the first time to be in the game as part of the December 2019 update. For this custom race on Gran Turismo Sport, I'm about to try this vehicle out for a spin so this is going to be a very good interesting to have the car settings to take a good look at the performance. The max power is 309, max torque is 277.7, weight is 3638, and the drivetrain is FR. So this is going to be quite brilliant to have this good kind of the performance to be quite started out for this vehicle. So this is going to be a big surprise to have is the 8 speed transmission gear. So this is going to be super awesome for this luxury sedan car that has the 8 speed gear. So looks like this is going to be quite very amazing and this is going to be quite very good to try it out. So hope this is going to be quite very good to get started out to begin. Before we begin to trying out this vehicle, so this is going to be quite giving the good exact racing category to be starting out with the N300. So this is going to be quite going challenging to race up against the KTM Expo R in the lead. So this will might make it to go with 5 laps. So this is going to be quite very challenging to get started out to begin. I hope this is going to be quite getting ready to go. So Tokyo Expressway, here we go for having this time for the custom race to get started out to begin. But I kind of say that this is going to be a most crown excited race to begin. So this is going to get everything we'll be going on to take the good challenge to be prepared for. So this is going to be quite very good to have that engine sound to be ready to go. Look at that sound folks. So before enjoying watching the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some more videos if you like. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. So let's go and get ready to race and let's get it started. This will be the most challenging race to take on in Tokyo Expressway for the Toyota Crown athlete to be prepared. So let's get started for having a 5 lap challenge to begin so this wheel might give a good luxury ride to be prepared for taking a good challenge. Now t this is going to be quite very good to have this nice interior view so this is going to be quite very good modern luxury for the crown so this is going to be quite giving a good nice badge logo onto the steering wheel so this is going to be quite brilliant for every driver in Japan so this is going to be quite very good to be driving around in the city track to be given a good challenge to race with the JDM cars and other vehicles who participate in the N300 race. So good thing that this is going to be taking a few warm ups to begin for having a good practice to get started out for. So this will might have that good segment to begin with. Now it's going to be quite very tough for having two lanes will be given the few gap distance we might be need to coming in. So if this is going to be given the good faster ways to get through so this will might take plenty of mobility will stay at its risk to avoid getting hit by the wall. So it's going to be very risky to try to stay careful to have a one good steady mobility. Taking few overtakes and pass through onto the Nissan Skyline. Trying to get through by coming up on the approach on the Nissan 350Z. Wow, looks like this is going to be quite getting a lot of few struggles to be going at it. Now, it's going to be quite very good to have a nice luxury sedan car to be in the game. Most like other Toyota luxury vehicles like the Chaser and other vehicles that might be quite putting in from the very first Grand Turismo game. So this is going to be quite very good in Jeep Sport to have this nice kind of a body style. So this is going to be quite very good modern style of a good performance. So this is going to be quite brilliant to see this kind of a vehicle that this will might be driven well to see how it goes. Now it's going to be quite getting on for so taking a good pass on the Mazda RX-7. Now just going to have to get passed through onto the G-Ready Fuku said. That should do it. 
taking some few full stretch to be going at it, so this will might keep coming forward to take seven more cars remaining. But luckily the KTM Expo R is taking the lead, so let's get that crown to the top position in no time. So this one might take plenty of enough of laps will be remaining to go. So this is gonna be getting in onto the halfway mark, we'll be getting forward to proceed. Trying to get slipped past through onto the Honda NSX Type R. This is going to be quite getting a little bit tough risky it gets to do it. Well, wow, looks like taking a little bit power slide so this will might need that grip to stay holding on for. But this is going to be quite very good to have the number of gears for the Crown Athlete G so it's definitely like the differences of the Toyota GR Super RC that has the 8-speed transmission as well so this is going to be quite very good to have the Crown and Supra to have something in common so this is going to be quite very good to have two cars in the same category along with the Porsche 911 that has the two specific models to be joining in that this might be quite giving a difference to be well it is quite very good to have two vehicles that have the most differences with all kinds of different transmission gears. Now it's going to be quite getting a little bit more time to stay on for one good maintain at the pace. Trying to get slip pass through onto the Alpine A110 2017 to go at it and then this will like going forward to catch up onto the Toyota GR Super RC. So this is going to be quite giving a good warm welcome to begin with. Taking one slow breaking through and dive down onto the second tunnel. Now this is going to be quite giving the same car overtake to, to let the luxury car go through. So this is going to be taking a lot of due distance to be left to go. By 16.400 seconds this is going to be quite very longer it takes to catch up because the Expo are always giving us one good head start to begin. But it's going to be a very tough risk for a luxury sedan car that this one might take on the most challenging N300 sports car to be in the race. Now this is going to be having the end of the third lap loop going in so this one might make it into the fourth lap. I bet that the crown is going to might need to take the first place will be going forward to keep it up. Hope this will might need to take plenty of more speed to go at it to make it one good improvement. But this will might take inside turns to be going as possible. Almost there, just going up onto the sixth gear. So this will might be keeping in for having a good speed by 132 miles per hour. So that will might give a good better straight that this will might be giving a good speed to keep it up. That might work perfectly to deal with the gap distance. Going dived in, performing in the inside turn, going for another one. Now it's going to be quite given the faster approach to be going at it. So. This will might take passive and aggressive. We we'll might be getting in there. And looks like there it is, folks. The KTM Expo R is quite giving a good eye view to see it. So this will might be taking the crown. We we'll might be getting in for first place. That was a very good handling at the final corner. So here we go. Final lap and it's on its way. But this is going to be a little risky to catching up, but this wheel might take a few speed to go at it. Now it's going to be quite very tough to be giving a one good mobility would be more likely to keep it up. So getting closer there, so hope I can make it. Looks like the Expo R doesn't give up, so looks like the crown is going to be coming back in at any moment until whenever it's going to have that turn so 
brace myself and this is going to be quite giving a few distances going at it for taking a struggle. I hope this wheel might work perfectly to coming in onto the second tunnel for only one more turn of the attempt is going to be quite going scooped in to dive in. That was pretty challenging close, but still almost had the moment. Looks like the X4R is not giving up that easily. But this is going to be quite giving the tough risk. We might be getting the crown to get past through him. Alright, so looks like this is going to be taking the final stretch. So this is going to be quite giving the hard risk to go at it. So I bet this is going to be quite getting the second place. We'll be much pretty good at it so well it was a pretty good run folks I hope this is going to be quite very good to have a very good strong speed to be prepared for the moment so this is going to be quite doing well for having a one good challenging match moment to take on with the KTM Expo R for the Crown Athlete G so it was a pretty awesome race for a luxury luxury sedan car so it is going to be quite very good to have a much better performance would be going at it by giving a power adjustment so this will might take the second place earning so let's go and get ready to take the east outer loop section to be prepared for the next round this will be a good challenge for the crown athlete g will take the pull straight to begin so this will might be ready to go to race at East Outer Loop to be prepared for having a three lap challenge to begin. So this is going to be quite doing good to take the rolling start to get started. So let's begin and let's drive faster to be catching up onto the top position. So this is going to be an important racing method that this will might be need to go faster. So taking a slipstream is important so this will might make one passing overtake at a given car will be needed so this will might take plenty of open space whenever you see a vehicle that this will might be giving a good chance to accelerate much quickly but it's going to be a very risky way to go slip pass through until whenever you're going in to reach it up onto the seventh gear so there it is folks this is where the early starts by taking the first turn will be going in by the approach. So if this will might take that inside turn to go correctly will be giving us one good steadiness to be giving the good racing mobility to be going quick and improved. Now several JDM cars are still going on to take the challenge to catch up to the KTM Expo R. But this wheel might take first place for the crown. We'll be going faster. We might take much precision after taking a lot of warm up to be ready to go. But this is going to be a little now or never for the moment. But it has to go much quickly to be going in to go faster onto the high speed skill of the performance. Now this is going to be taking a few strategies for the Crown Athlete G will might be taking the inside turns but giving the mobility will be taking much more credit to be taking much more skills of a successful will might be giving a good achievement so it takes practice to take much faster ways to perform but it's going to be quite very good to have a time trial would be needed to take the practice to be ready to go. By taking 12 seconds on the gap distance up ahead, the KTM Expo R is still taking the lead and most all the other N300 cars are still trying to keep it up. But this is going to be taking a long lineup that this one might be need to take more draft to be going in. But this wheel might take the good turn we'll be going at it after the last turn and this wheel might take the full straight before going in onto the first turn. So. That might be giving a much better solution to have an 8-speed transmission gear. So this wheel might give a much challenging straight wheel might be going in onto the upper hand. By staying in on the 6th gear, so this wheel might take a good acceleration by 150 miles in the range. So 
this is going to be quite very brilliant to see for this car that this moment takes a lot of good performance. By taking few overtakes on the drop, that wheel might climb up onto the seventh gear, so this wheel might give enough space before approaching in onto the first turn. So this wheel might be need to pull the brakes to be going in correctly. But this is going to be quite very interesting. The Crown Athlete G is definitely might be having an 8-speed transmission gear, so this one might give an extra, if possible, to be taking a long course straight that this one might be giving the good ways to speed up, to be climbing up onto the acceleration will be giving much distance to be needed as well. Now, this is going to be having the same thing from the last race. Hope this is going to be quite giving the good ways to overtake the GR Super RC. And then the Expo R will be taking on in first place. This will might get the crown will be going in to take the gold. But this will might take plenty more speed and handling will be taking much often to get it in there. Now this is going to be quite giving much more boost to be giving the efficient. So it will might take one good chance to doing this, but it has to be giving a one good racing reason will be race hard to get there. Taking the tough challenge with a strong N300 car for the Crown Athlete G, but this will might be giving a good successful ways we might be getting in, we might take the good proven skills to be going in for. Now same thing before, this is going to be a method without having a car around will be giving up more speed to go accelerate. But this is going to be taking a far distance will be going in. But I hope this will might take the risk will be getting in. If possible will be having more tires to be giving much ways to improve. So here we go. Final lap and this is it. This wheel might going in onto the long distance to catch up to the KTM Expo R. So this wheel might take that seventh gear will be kicking in anytime shortly while taking a long distance by taking on for the first turn. And there you go. That's gonna be giving a little nick of time for the moment. So here comes the hard part that this one might take the final attempt. Now it only takes 2.5 seconds on the distance, but it's still going up ahead. Kind of say that this is going to be quite giving a much expert ways for the KTM Expo R can probably challenging against the N300 vehicles. Only one vehicle could probably learn to overcome, but it also has skills to be required to be catching up to be going at it. But it takes a lot of risk if we have to take much more good capability to take much more racing mobility to getting in there. For only 1.2 seconds left, I'm getting closer, but looks like getting running out of turns is going to be quite giving the only hard option that this one might be getting there. Okay, keep it holding steady. This wheel might take a little bit more time to keep it up. I bet this is going to be having that last turn is going to be giving a little bit final chance. Looks like I almost had it. That's going to be quite very tougher to see it. So this wheel might take plenty more ways to get through for it. So. Well, it's, it's going to be quite very good to have a one good high speed challenge for having the test. We'll be giving much more likely to be proven to a success. Now, this will might take second place that this will might be getting there, but I hope this is going to be quite doing good to have the best time trial. We'll be ready to go. But now, this is going to be quite doing good to take 
silver for giving us one good crown will be giving the good successful to be giving a race well done. But that was a lot of racing hard work folks. Taking on a strong N300 sports car in the category that this is going to be quite giving much more speed to be giving much effort as possible. So this one might take second place earnings that this one might need to have a little credits to stack up so this one might be doing well to be keeping up, keeping up for so this one might be very good to be keep practicing for the crown athlete G that this one might be giving a lot of good speeds to be performed so tuning settings that this will be giving the best recommend for all of us so if we have to be quite very good to have many good ways to have a good race or having a one good luxury Japanese sedan car that this will might take a few skills will be giving in for having a one good sport competition. So this works very perfectly for the Crown Athlete G. Will might be taking some more faster performance to be having the determined choices for the transmission gear. So if possible, just gonna have to stick with the eight speed whenever you like to do. But if possible to have a seven speed transmission that this will might works perfectly that this is gonna be quite giving some fine tuning work that this will might work perfectly to have a one ways to improve. So I hope you guys did a pretty good job for taking a good time trial lap. But this is going to be quite very good to take the crown. We'll be going for a spin. Alright folks, glad that you really enjoyed this time trial. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, bell for notification uploads. And the links on the description down below if you want to see more. Lottery blog videos are available to watch anytime you want. So this will be the entertainment showcase about different cars with some libraries I have been made. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time for continuing on on the time trial on Gran Turismo Sport and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay clean.